Multiplying more complicated polynomials. So we know that when we multiply a minus b times a plus b, we can FOIL this out. This a gets distributed to both items over here. This negative b gets distributed to both items. And we end up with another polynomial. So in doing that, we know we end up with the a times the a, which is a squared. Distributing this a to the b and the a to the negative b, those two are equal and opposite, so those cancel out to nothing. And we have the b times the negative b ending up with negative b squared. So just standard FOIL operations. If we want to multiply out these two polynomials, things get a little bit more complicated. We could do the exact same approach as we did before, which would be take this 3x, multiply it by the 3x, the 1, and the 3y. Take the 1, add it by each of these three, and the negative 3, add it to each three, and then combine like terms. That seems like a pretty long, arduous process. So what I want to do is take a step back and look at this and see if there's anything we can do to make our life easier. Okay? So what I see is there's a 3x plus 1 and a 3x plus 1 in both. Okay? So I'm going to sort of group those off to the side and sort of distinguish them for the rest of the problem. We also then have a minus 3y and a plus 3y. Okay? So we have one item minus something else and that same item plus something else. There's actually a really close relationship between this problem and this one up here. So what we can do is if we say let a equal 3x plus 1 and let b equal 3y, what we've actually done is turn this equation into a minus b and this equation into a plus b. We just did this calculation up here. So we know that this is going to be a squared minus b squared. Okay? More specifically, we know that a is a 3x plus 1, so this turns into 3x plus 1 squared, and our b turns into 3y squared. Okay? Now instead of dealing with having to multiply out three terms, we just have to square something a lot easier. So we just would have to FOIL this out becomes 9x squared plus, we're going to have the 2 of the 1 times the 3x, that becomes 6x plus 1, and 3y squared, the square goes to both things, so this ends up minus 9 squared. So, using a little bit of a shortcut, sort of seeing some similarities in these two equations, we can make a substitution and make our life a lot easier than if we had to take each of these elements and distribute it through.